You're about to watch this AI agent literally print $300,000 from a dead pile of leads live on screen. These are leads that recruiters just gave up on. They're cold, they're ignored, they're pretty much useless. But this AI, well, it calls every single one of them. And you can add lists of over 20 to 30 and even 100,000 old leads. It talks like a human, it filters by interest, and it will fill up your calendar with new prospects. But don't just take my word for it. I'm about to show you a live demo. I want to show you exactly how it's built on the back end, how the prompts work, and how this is already making real money live in the real world. Stick around because this is the kind of edge you are looking for to bury your competitors. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name's Liam. I help businesses all over the world to implement advanced AI phone agents into their business. So if you'd like to explore how we can do the same for you, just use the first link down below to book a free AI consultation call. I look forward to hearing from you and now let's dive into the video. All right, so for this solution, we will use make.com, Vapi, and also a mock database here in Google Sheets. Now, three things I wanna say before we do the live demo. First of all, I know this is just one lead, and that's mainly because, actually only because I have one phone and one phone number to test this with. Uh, this system works the same whether it's one lead or 10,000 leads, it does not make a difference. Second thing, uh, you don't need to use Google Sheets, right? You can also use your own CRM or your own database. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. And the third thing is they also don't need to be the same job type. You can have plumbing, you could have IT, you can have different questions and even have an AI personalize each question based on past interactions with this person. So that being said, let me show you a very straightforward example of how this would work. And we're going to activate this right now. And you're going to see it'll give me a call. Hey, use this. Hi, Mr. Wilson. This is Mike. I'm calling because of an exciting job opportunity in plumbing. Do you have a second, Mr. Oh, Wilson? Oh, sure. Yeah, thanks. Great. Thank you for your time, Mr. Wilson. Um, I'm calling on behalf of Bob, who's looking for talented individuals like you to join his team. Are you experienced in plumbing, or do you have skills working with tools? Yeah, I mean, I've I've been working in plumbing for about 35 years now, so uh, I, th I think I know a thing or two, yeah. Wow, 35 years. That's truly impressive, Mr. Wilson. With that level of experience, you must have a ton of expertise under your belt. Bob would be thrilled to connect with someone with your background and skills with exactly the, the kind of talent he's looking for. So are if you like open, offering me a job and can you give me some like, like salary? What's, what's the salary like? Do you know? Or? Great question. That's a great question, Mr. Wilson. While I don't have the specifics on salary myself, Bob would be the best person to discuss details like that. Okay. Well, sure. With then you, let's just Mr. set up a, a meeting with Bob if that's possible. I'm usually only available in the that's evenings, though. Got it, Mr. Wilson. I'll make sure we arrange an evening time that works for you. How about I check with Bob's availability and confirm a specific time for the meeting? What's the best way to reach out to you? Should I call your number again or email you the details? Uh, no, you can reach me on this number. That's fine. All right. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. And I'll make sure to give you a call on this number with the uh, confirmed details for your meeting with uh, Bob. Thanks so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Sure. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. So as you can see, that was pretty damn cool. Uh, and also the level of... Um, the quality of this voice is amazing. Like, it is, it is phenomenal how real these sound. And um, a second workflow in the background will then also update your database here uh, with um, called true and interested true so that you have an overview of what happens. Now, of course, you can go even further with this. You can have this thing checked directly with Bob's availability and schedule an appointment into his calendar. Uh, there's infinite things that you can do with this. Uh, but for now, let me show you the basics. It's very simple to replicate as well. And uh, with this, I think it'll get your mind whirring on uh, how to use AI uh, in your recruiting business. All right, so before I actually show you how the system works on the back end, let me break down the costs for an AI like this. First of all, we have the human costs and time, then the AI costs, and then the ROI that a recruiting company would make. For the human costs and time, say we have look at three different people. Each of them gets paid $12 an hour, which is uh, not much, but I guess is a good average. And say we have three people, one does 80 calls a day, one 100, and then you find a superhuman which does it in, which does 160 calls a day. If you found the superhuman, which is willing to work for only $12, $12 an hour, you would pay them 12 grand and it would take 125 days to reactivate this lead list of 20,000 leads. Now, more realistic values are, of course, 100 or 80 calls per day, which would cost uh, a lot more. 
And then, you know, you'd have to wait a lot of time, like two thirds of a year, basically, to reactivate your lead list, which means that you'd have to hire more people to do it faster, which would cost a lot more money. Now, how does AI compare up to this? Well, AI, uh, 20,000 leads, AI charges based on the call minutes. Say we have average of three minutes per call. That would mean at 11 cents per call minute. By the way, this is not what, for example, my agency would receive. This is what the software companies like Vapi that orchestrate these AI voice calls would get. And depending on the skill of the agency, this number can vary between around 10 cents to 15 cents. We try to aim for the lower end and optimize the prompt so that it doesn't cost as much money. Uh, so overall, for 20,000 leads, you'd pay half of what the best performer would do. Right, it's 6.6 grand. Now, the interesting part is how fast can I do this? AI can call at the baseline 10 people at the same time. However, this can be increased to 50 to 100 and sometimes even, um, I haven't done it to 1000 yet, to be completely honest, but you can reach out to the VAPI team and they will set something up where you could call 1000 people at the same time, which would mean that you were done in a couple of hours, which is insane. But usually, you know, realistically speaking, an AI might take a week to reactivate all of these leads, which is, you know, compared to the original, incredibly fast. Now, how much money do you actually make on an AI like this? At uh, recruiters get between two and a half to five thousand dollars commission for a new hire, and if say of those twenty thousand people, only two thousand showed vague interest, and of those two thousand, only one percent, so that's zero point one percent of the entire lead list, only took the job and got was hired they would make 60 grand that's already a six times roi on a very very bad case scenario let's say five percent of those two thousand or half a percent of the entire lead list took a job you're already at 300 grand and you know at 10 percent it's so a company like this would make several hundred thousand dollars uh, unless they're doing something completely wrong uh, you will make a lot of money with this solution i don't think i need to say any more uh, crazy numbers and surprisingly a very simple solution. So to build this, you will need three things. Uh, you need a phone number on Twilio, which I won't show you how to set up today. That is um, there plenty of tutorials out there. Then we have make.com and uh, Vapi. Now this is once again designed as a walkthrough kind of tutorial. Uh, I have plenty of tutorials on how to build an agent from scratch, but I want to show you the, the workings behind this so you have a good understanding and can uh, see if this is actually something that you would like to uh, explore further. So first of all, you've got your lead list, say, for example, in Google Sheets, and you would start by these being false, for example. What does all of this mean? You have a, num a name, number, the job that they're applying for, the questions you want the AI to ask, and then called, we'll start with false, and interested gets updated after the call is done. So first of all, we have um, this make.com scenario. I'll remove this for now. It searches through the Google Sheets for everyone that hasn't been called yet, right? False. Then it loops through. These basically just mean that uh, everything after this point will repeat. And what we do here is we set the prompt. And into the prompt, we inject stuff like the name of the caller, um, the questions that it should ask, and the job that it's applying for, as well as the welcome message. Now, these then get set into this module, which I'll blow out the API key, but um, effectively, you've got this code here, which uh, injects prompts into a specific assistant. Now, you find this assistant ID if you go to VAPI and up here. This is where you'd find it. You can copy it there. For the phone number, you can find the ID if you click on your phone number, which you can import from Twilio. Um, and you find the phone number ID up here. You place these into this piece of code, and then you can inject the number that it's supposed to call the prompt, which is in here, and also the first message. Now, some people might ask, why don't we just only inject the name into a pre-existing prompt and not replace the whole thing? Because at the moment, we're replacing the entire prompt. As you can see, there's nothing else in here except for what gets injected into the agent. I did this because you can add an extra step here. You could add an OpenAI module, for example, that looks at past conversations and personalizes and rewrites this prompt every single time. So there's a lot of stuff that you can still add to this, even more levels of personalization and complexity, and even memory that this AI can have uh, of past conversations. I wouldn't recommend this.
typically speaking for some cases it makes sense but usually this is just very expensive but i wanted to show you that there's even more uh, options available now once this call gets made um, the ai will go through the questions as you heard in the example and then we have this setup here this is a webhook and this url is the same url as in your vapi agent if you go to the messaging section we have a server url and basically here this is an update get that gets sent at the end of the call and just make sure that you have the phone call control and end of call report checked and then if you go on to analysis and in structured data you can specify that the ai should judge whether or not they are interested or not and that gets sent over in another little chunk of information so in a nutshell what happens the call ends this receives data only lets through the end of call report to avoid any other data that gets sent through searches the google sheet based on the caller's phone number to write the to find the right column that it should update and it updates that column first of all with true that you know it has been called and uh, so this changes to true and then also adds interested um, based on what the agent extracted here so if they're interested it'll say true if they're not interested it'll say false and the cool thing here is that you can add even more ais on the back of this so for example if somebody is interested you can have another ai which sends them text messages which follows up which adds um, sends calendar links to reschedule for example so there's so many things that can also plug into the system and that's when you start to create an ai infrastructure which does more than just call but actually handles the entire recruiting process for you even including like filtering more and and vetting potential leads even further and i hope that by now your mind is kind of worrying on how you can use ai to reactivate and re-engage old leads and if you have an old lead list like this lying around this is definitely something you should consider in 2025 and moving forward all right so i hope you were able to get some value from this video as you can see ai has a huge potential uh, reactivating old leads which can not only save time but also make a bunch of money in the process if you have any questions about this just leave them in the comment section down below i answer every single one and if you want more in-depth knowledge or have a very specific question you can book a free ai consultation call with me using the first link in the description i look forward to hearing from you and i'll see you in the next one